Aspen is a hormone that can be used to treat people who suffer of diabetes. Historically, insulin was an expensive medicine. Only few people could afford its price. That's because the drug was extracted from animals. Those animals were killed to extract insulin out of their pancreas. Now, insulin is made in much more cost-effective method by using biotechnology. The current method relies on bacteria to produce insulin cheaply. There are several advantages for the use of bacteria in genetic engineering. First is the fact that they reproduce very rapidly, which means a lot of insulin can be made in short time. In addition, bacteria are quite small, so you can grow so many bacteria in little space. Moreover, bacteria have what we call a plasmid. A plasmid is a short piece of circular DNA that we can engineer and insert the human insulin gene inside. The first step in genetic engineering is to take that bacterial plasmid and cut it by using restriction enzymes. Restriction enzymes cut DNA specifically to open it up and insert that human insulin gene right inside the bacterial plasmid. Both the human DNA and the bacterial plasmid must be cut with the same restriction enzyme because we want to produce DNA that is complementary, which can be easily bound to one another. The resulting plasmid is what we call recombinant plasmid because it's made up of bacterial DNA and human DNA put together. We need one extra step to make sure that the DNA is stuck well to one another. For that reason, we're going to need the ligase enzyme. Ligase enzyme ensures that the DNA is very well stuck to one another. Next, we're going to take that recombinant plasmid and we're going to insert it back into bacteria. Now the bacteria has been officially engineered because it has human DNA inside. The next step is that we're going to take those bacteria and we're going to insert them into a fermenter, which is a device that is meant to grow bacteria inside. Those bacteria will reproduce rapidly and produce human insulin, which can be easily now processed and packaged to be sold for patients. To summarize the process, first, the human insulin gene is cut with a restriction enzyme, and so is the bacterial plasmid is cut with the same restriction enzyme. The recombinant plasmid is inserted into a bacteria, which is grown then in a fermenter to produce effective human insulin at low price.